Hi, in this Excel tutorial, we'll go over how to make a macro in Excel. So what is a macro? Macros are essentially instructions in the form of code used to automate steps in a process. And this can be anything like formatting, adding formulas, text, etc. It sounds complex and they sometimes can be, but I promise that for a lot of everyday spreadsheet tasks, recording a macro is super easy and can save you a ton of time. And by the way, if you enjoy this tutorial, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for even more tips. So macros are actually really special to me. In my first job out of college, I was able to move up in the company by using macros. I was running a lot of reports and by automating many of them, I was able to free up the hours I needed each week to be able to shadow more senior associates and eventually take on more responsibilities. So with that said, let's dive in so you can see how easy it can be to create a macro in Excel. So the first thing that you'll want to do is make sure that you have your developer tab. If you do not, simply right click anywhere up here in your ribbon and select customize ribbon. Then from here in your tabs, scroll down until you find developer and make sure that it's checked off and click OK. So let's say every morning you have to pull this report. Each time you generate the report, it looks like this. Part of your job is to make sure that it looks better before you can deliver it to anyone. A macro could save you valuable time. Let's record what we do to this spreadsheet each day and see how much time we could save by creating a macro to do the work for us. So from the developer tab, click on record macro to open up the macro recorder. The first thing we need to do is give our macro a name. Now, ideally, this should be something that is easy for you to recognize and know what it is next time you need to access your macros. And you can assign it a shortcut key if you like. I'm not going to be doing that for this example. And you need to decide where you want to store your macro. So you can select from your personal macro workbook, which is a hidden workbook in your Excel program. And and whenever you're using your own Excel program, you can access all your macros. You can select to store it in a new workbook, or you can select to store it just in this workbook, which makes it so that you can only use it with this workbook. But let's say, for example, you want to share this file with someone else and have them run the macro. This could be a way you could do that. So I'm going to select personal macro workbook for this. And then if you like, you can add a description to your macro then click OK to begin recording. So with our macro recording, everything that we do on the screen will be saved to the macro. So let's move this down a little bit. Let's add here date report ran. We'll say equals today. Oops. And then once we do the formula, I'm going to copy it and paste it as a value. So it maintains the date that we ran it. We'll bold this or to add some borders. To open these up, we'll add some color to the top here and then we'll format these. This will be phone number. We'll click OK and number sold in dollars. This should be dollar and then we'll do a sum is total dollar as well and we'll bold these and let's stop the recording. So now let's compare this to how our macro can create the same formatting. So I'm copying this, creating a new workbook and then pasting this as value so it looks just like it did when we first started. Now we'll go back into the developer tab and then macros find the macro that we just created and click run. And notice how much faster that was. One thing to keep in mind when using the macro recorder is that all actions recorded will be repeated in the exact cells originally used. So for example, if one morning you run this report and it has a fifth associate, this macro won't work as intended because it will be off by a row. Now there are ways to work around this with a bit more advanced coding skills or by doing a new macro. Regardless, using the macro recorder can save you a tremendous amount of time and many tasks. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create a macro in Microsoft Excel. If you did, please make sure to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.